Okay, let's talk about your supplies and safety. Now, safety is paramount when working with Alcohol Links. Alcohol Inc. and isopropyl alcohol creates a vapor when you're working with it. And um, I mean, if you were to put isopropyl alcohol just in a glass and walk away from it, half hour later, it would most likely be gone, you know, and to an hour, a half hour to an hour later, it would most likely be gone because it is now evaporated it into the air. So you can imagine as you're applying heat to that, as you're blowing it around, you're also blowing it into your, um, your work environment as well. So first things first is make sure you are working in a well ventilated area that is paramount make sure the air is circulating through because you want to make sure that what's ever going into the air is moving out of your your area that you're working in um, good ideas an air purifier as well um, and also a fume mask so this is i use this probably 95 percent of the time in my studio the only time i don't use it is when i'm using the straw technique but again i will teach you the straw technique but use it sparingly because you're unable to protect your lungs when you do that so um so here is the um fume mask i use this one i love this one because a lot of the fume masks are double chambered and that can be quite bulky and i like this one because it seals beautifully and I can put this behind my head and clasp this and tighten it and then when I'm done after you know working for like you know an hour or so as I end up having quite the uh, quite the red line that lasts um, lasts a while from it but I don't mind because I know that my lungs are protected and if you're somebody especially who uses alcohol link on a daily basis you want to make sure you're protected um, the other thing that's a really important is um, you want to make sure that if you are working in your studio, you have, and there's anyone else that's in your studio, make sure that you protect them as well. Like I said, the fumes are going into the air and they are dispersing throughout your entire space and they'll just continue to go and linger until they completely dissipate out. That can take quite a while and alcohol toxicity is a real thing I know I have had a few of the symptoms of it and they are not nice they are like severe headaches um, you know a hoarse throat um, and yeah just in general I mean I didn't have it really really bad but I've heard that you can you know have difficulty breathing and things like that now if you do experience any of those things you know, what I have done for myself and the research that I had read up on is to just take yourself out of the area and breathe in as much clean air as possible um, just to help move it out of your system. Um, but let's prevent that. Let's prevent that even from ever happening and making sure that we are wearing a fume mask, making sure we're in a well-ventilated area. Um, the other thing is to protect your skin because your skin um, is the largest organ in your whole body and it absorbs stuff like crazy so make sure it's also over drying oh, rubbing alcohol is very over drying so it will steal the moisture from your hands but then also the alcohol ink um, and pigments those will stain and you you gotta not only just protect your manicure but to protect your skin you don't want that ink going in uh, systemically through your body as well so um, another thing to do is you only have one set of eyes so make sure that you protect them at all costs eyes are precious there are windows to the soul as you've heard so make sure that you um, you treat them that way and you protect them so just kind of run down the list um, we have a well ventilated area we have a fume mask um, we wear nitrile gloves to cover our fingers. That's what I use. Um, you can use vinyl gloves as well. I don't recommend latex. I mean, if you're not allergic and, and that's all that you have, then I'm sure that that'll be fine. But again, latex itself, you know, um, some studies have shown that it, it also goes into the air as well. So I just try and avoid anything that will um, that will do that. So um, I use nitrile gloves because I just find that they are a really good um, uh, barrier between my skin and, the, and whatever I'm using. Um, I used to be a hygienist, so I do know a little bit about this. Um, so 
yeah, I just, I, I, I highly recommend, recommend nitrile gloves over any of the gloves that are out there. So um, the other thing you want to do is you want to protect your surface that you're working on. Not only is alcohol ink drying to your skin, but it's going to dry out any surface that you're working on, especially if it's like wood um, or, or plastics or anything like that. Um, the inks you're using are also highly pigmented, which means they're highly, highly staining. And if you get that on a wood table or a plastic table, you are not getting that out. Um, so protect your surface 100%. Um, so what I do is in my studio, I have um, a, gla a piece of glass down. And I use that as my palette for all the different types of mediums that I use. And I use acrylic and oil and it's just a really easy cleanup at the end. Um, I also use it for my alcohol inks as well. But if you don't have that because, and, and all the glass is, is like the table top of, um, of a dresser, like the top of a dresser, it was a glass made for that. So I use that. Um, but if you don't have that, make sure that you use like a plastic sheet you know that you could even just get from the dollar store or something um, to protect the table that is underneath it or whatever surface that you're working on also on top of that i laid down uh, parchment paper a really you know big piece of parchment paper um, just as a working surface but also i use it as a palette as well so i can dip i can drop some alcohol ink on it and use my paintbrush to pick it up from there and put it onto my painting so it's kind of uh, you know a multi-use um, the other thing I do is I take I use so many paper towels in my studio but I take you know four paper towels about this size and then I fold it and I also put that on top so I've got my plastic sheet I've got my parchment paper and then I have a barrier of paper towels now these are protecting our surface but they're also used to um, absorb any runoff of alcohol inks um, and just stop your 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 surface from becoming a puddled mess underneath um, but also like if you've got excess um, then you can easily um, excess alcohol ink then you can easily just kind of dab it um, tilt your paper and dab it on and it absor absorbs it really really well so yeah that in general are my safety tips of how to protect your body how to protect your surfaces and the next um, you know, lesson I'm going to teach you is all about the tools. So that's the fun part where you start to get into, you know, what inks we use and also what kind of air tools we use and whatnot. So I will meet you over there at the next lesson.